for Deloitte and Touch. Nigeria's economic outlook for 2018 cuts across budget implementation, tax agenda, monetary and fiscal policies, and how they all connect to investments promotion. One after the other, government executives from the budget office, as well as the Federal Inland Revenue Service, explain their projections for 2018. A declining deficit, and that's consistent with the, you know, the ERGP, but nonetheless, you know, two trillion naira of uh, deficit for 2018 is, uh, you know, projected. But you can see that's now down to 1.77 percent of, um, you know, uh, GDP. Unfortunately, state governments have not been very tax compliant. But I met with the chairman of the Governors Forum, met with the chairman of the Commissioners of Finance, and let them realize a major area is in VAT and withholding tax, which actually belongs to you. Beside fiscal and monetary policies, a more relevant issue for Deloitte and Touch is the pioneer status for incentives approved for 27 sectors last year. Nigeria has what's typically called an MCP, a multi-currency uh, practice. Um, for me, that remains an issue to be dealt with. We're working on a number of reports to provide the public with information as to how many applications were approved, for what sectors, how much was invested, how many jobs were created, in what states. So what does Deloitte and Touch make of these policy directions? The intention is for us to create a community within a society where government can continually use this kind of platform to hear comments from the private sector and how the private sector can continue to contribute to the society. About 5.6 trillion, it's what the non-oil tax revenue uh, that is centrally collectible in 2018, it's projected for uh, in 2018. And, and how well we do in achieving that is going to play an important role in what happens to our economy in 2018. Meetings of this nature strengthen the relationship between government and the business community, one that Deloitte and Touch looks to sustain periodically.